Hello everyone. Welcome to Gmatting. I am Mukul and today we are gonna cover counting. Counting which is also known as combinations and permutations sometimes is a fairly basic concept but it often gets very tricky and uh, and that's the reason I'm, I'm trying to cover it in this video. So we'll keep it a short video maybe just 15 minutes and we'll cover only what's gonna uh, what's what's asked on the GMAT nothing else. So with that in mind let's start. So counting has three basic concepts. The first is arranging, the second is choosing or selecting or combinations, the third is choosing and arranging. So this is different. This is permutation but which is you know choosing first and then arranging. We'll go through these concepts one by one. So let's let's move on to the next page. Arrangements. So what is arrangements? Arrangements is when you have you know let's say uh, some objects different kind of objects and you have to arrange them so let's say you had a b and c now in how many ways can you arrange this so you can arrange it in a b c a c b b a c b c a c a b and c b a so if you count this is this comes out to be six so now how, how, how can we get the six uh, quickly I mean you cannot really do it for like 10 objects so so how do we get get that so the general formula for this is n factorial so this is this is because uh, and n factorial as you know is 1 into 2 into 3 into till it goes on till n okay so here it would be 3 factorial because there are three different objects and remember that different is important the word different is very important because there are three different objects the formula is 3 factorial the the result is 3 factorial otherwise it won't hold so we'll also talk about the repetitions later on but for now let's assume all the objects are different and uh, and for that the formula would be n factorial in this case a, B, and C. There are three different objects, so it's three factorial. How do we get that? So I'll, I'll I'll show you something which you should use in every counting problem, whether it be combinations, permutation, or arrangement, anything. So what you should do is you should draw three dashes, three blank spaces. If you have to arrange three objects, okay. So now here you can place uh, any of the objects in three manner. You know, A, B, or C. You have three choices here, so you put three. Now, in, for the second place, since you've already placed the first object, you have only two choices, so it's two. For the third place, it's, it's just one choice. You are not left with any choice, so it's one. And since you have to multiply the ways, I mean, uh, uh, I, I, I assume that you understand that when you have, you know, the uh, three ways of doing something, then second way of doing the next thing, for one way of doing the next thing, then the, then the total way is three into two into one, so that is six, which is also three factorial okay now let's move on to the next uh, you know uh, next part where we'll talk about repetitions in arrangements okay in what happens in that case is let's say you had uh, a b c and d in how many ways you can arrange that it will be fairly simple that is four factorial okay but let's say i substitute d with c again okay so let's say one of the arrangement was b a c d and let's say c a b d okay in this case d will become c this will also become c okay and let's say this was also you know one of the ways in this case also this would become c and let's say you know d a b c in this case this will also become c so w what we are seeing here is both these options become c a b c and both these options become b a c c so now two options become one two options become one so it's basically reducing the number of arrangements you can you can do so how how do we how do we account for that so so earlier what we were doing is we were counting these two as separate cases but now we have to count them only as once so so because there were two objects which were which are exactly the same now you know so the number of arrangements which would be two factorial among them among those two you know between those two objects would be two factorial you have to discount that two factorial so that will become four factorial upon two factorial so what you are doing is you are accounting for the extra two factorial ways you 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 did earlier so so this would give you the answer so the generic formula for this would be 
let's say there are n objects it would be n factorial and let's say the the first type of object is repeated a times it would be a factorial the second is b times c times so on and on let's demonstrate it by an example mississippi it has 10 objects 10 letters so it's 10 factorial but not all of them are you know different so m is only one so that that's okay i is four times so you have to discount four factorial ways s is three times you have to discount three factorial ways p is two times so discount two and that's gonna give you the answer i think that's one two six oh oh but you should check it out for yourself okay moving on to the next concept choosing or selection also called combination so w what's this so basically what they're asking you to do is choose or select are objects out of n objects so let's say you have a pool of n different objects and you are only supposed to uh, let's say choose our objects out of that so the formula given for this is this but but this is like you know without and really understanding it how how it comes there's no use to it so we learn how to basically figure out you know how to arrive at this formula so let's say uh, you have you know uh, let's say you know three uh, you know four uh, letters let's say a b c and d in how many ways you can you know choose uh, you know three objects out of it let's say or let's say just let's say just two objects out of it so uh, let's say you choose a and b first then you can choose a and c then you can choose a and d you can also let's say choose uh, 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 let's say with B you have already chosen a so you can choose BC you can also choose BD with C you've already chosen a and B so it's only C and D with D you've already you know exhausted all your choices so basically you have three two and one plus plus so it's it's six okay so how do we get to this formula I mean you can simply you know plug the values so that is four factorial upon you know you were selecting two so it's two factorial and n minus r would be 4 minus 2 it's again 2 factorial it's 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 by 2 into 2 so it's 3 into 2 into 1 is equals to 6 but how do we get this I mean for 4 objects uh, for selecting 2 objects from 4 objects it was fairly simple and you did the you know arrangements yourself manually and then you got 6 but how do we do it if it were a larger number so let's demonstrate that with you know with this example so what basically you are doing here is you have a b c and d let's say the when you select something you put a cross against it and when you don't select something you put a knot against it so let's say for the first example you chose a and b so it's cross cross o o cross o cross o cross o o cross then o cross cross o o cross o o and then o o cross cross so these are the only ways these are six ways so what you are basically doing here is you are arranging these two crosses and these two knots you know among themselves and if we go back to the the first concept where you were arranging something the number of arrangements would be four factorial right because there are four objects but remember there are repetitions here there are you know the, the crosses are repeated two times and the knots are also repeated two times so the crosses are repeated two times so that is two factorial and the rest of the stuff is also repeated so the rest of the stuff is four minus two right four total objects minus two crosses which are also repeated so that is this so that is why we get the formula for C2 and which is 4 factorial upon 2 factorial upon 4 minus 2 factorial, right? So if you if you could do it for let's say A, B, C, D and E and you were to choose only three objects, let's say cross, 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 O, O, then you would, you know, and, and you kept on doing the same exercise, you would get five objects arranged among themselves, but three of them are repeated you know so three factorials and these two knots are also repeated and two you get because five because of five minus three so that is two factorial or you could have also said five factorial three factorial five minus three factorial 
so that is why you get this formula so now you know how do we get this formula so it's it, it it's actually it comes from the same arrangement formula so you know everything actually boils down to the arrangement the first concept we learned where it's just the factorial and everything else is just just based on you know the repetitions so it's 5 factorial upon 3 factorial upon 2 factorial so now you totally understand you know the combination formula you will not really you know think what's this going on here okay now let's move on to the last concept which is you know okay before before moving on to that let's just you know do this problem it's saying 20 boys go out for a football team how many different ways the teams may be formed now you know you know a team can be formed by 11 people so it's 20 c 11 straight so it's 20 factorial 11 factorial 9 factorial 9 is 20 minus 11 and you get the answer figure it out we'll move on to the next concept that is permutation so permutation is basically selection and arrangement it's not just selection and it's not just arrangement it has to be understood in the terms of selection and arrangement so let's say you have an object and you have to you know arrange you know our objects by choosing something from here so let's say uh, let's say you know when you were making a team you were just selecting something because you know a team irrespective of what the order is it's the same team right so let's say you have a b c and a b c d and e these are the five you know these are five people and you have to choose three people among them from them and and you have to you know form a team let's say you have you know three post of president vice president and you know the secretary let's say you know you can you can select three people let's say a b and c but you can put a b and c like this or you can place like this you can make a the vice president b the president and you can do this also right so there are again many ways you can do that and then you know the second way could be you can select c d and e and then you can you know put them here or you can put them like this so here it's not just the selection earlier in combination this and this were the same thing because you know c d e and d c e are the same team but here since they are treated differently since their places also matter within the team it's it's permutation it's arrangement also so it's selection and then arrangement so the formula for permutation is n factorial upon n minus r factorial which is fairly simple because you know the formula for selection was n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial and now you are arranging these three guys or the r guys among themselves also and you know the ways to do ways to do that was r factorial so it is after this becomes n factorial upon n minus r factorial right so basically uh, you know there uh, in combination you were choosing these chunks the cde chunk or the abc chunk and then you were also you know this time you are also arranging those chunks among themselves so you are you know multiplying them with r factorial so that's why you get an r factorial you know less in the denominator so that's why you know the permutation formula so it's fairly simple again let's demonstrate that with an example so you select a president and a vice president from a group of five students find the number of possible outcomes so you are choosing two people so you know the the the, the ways you can choose two people is 5 cr 5 c2 that is 5 factorial upon 2 factorial upon 3 factorial but you can also uh, you know uh, arrange themselves you know as vice president or president in two factorial ways so that gives you five factorial upon three factorial which is also the formula for you know five p3 which is directly five upon five minus two factorial which is five factorial upon three factorial which is four into five which is 20. okay so that uh, brings us to the end of our lecture uh, it was a short lecture and I hope uh, it helped you to understand the basic concept. We'll do tougher problems in the next video. So be on a lookout for that. Uh, subscribe to GMATing and you will be updated by your email when the next uh, video lecture comes out. So happy GMATing till then. All the best and uh, all the best for your preparation on your GMAT. And uh, okay, so catch you guys later. Bye.